Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. I do how to's, I do fishing vlogs, teach you how to catch more fish, I do boat maintenance videos, and anything else fishing related. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and you'll be well on your way to catch more fish. Now let's jump right into my favorite fall bass fishing tips and baits. So the first bait I have here is a well-known chatterbait. It is the Jackhammer from Z-Man. Now this particular one has 3 8 ounce and it has the stealth blade here which just really means that it's clear. Um, also I have it paired with a baby rage crow. Now the reason I do this, well it gives it a little different action than what most people are throwing right now. You can still pair this up with a paddle tail swim bait if you like but I would suggest giving this a try because this is a little different variation of what everyone else is throwing. Now I typically throw this guy over submerged grass or near grass and it's very important that when you're throwing it over this grass that you check to see if the grass is still alive. Bass don't like dead grass. I throw this guy on a medium to medium heavy power rod with a fast action tip. Uh, the line that I choose is usually 12 to 15 pound test. I like to use copolymer but you can use fluorocarbon for this guy as well. On a six to seven speed reel, uh, what I mean there is the gear ratio is six to seven. Kind of gives you an idea of the speed. And the reason for that is that this blade slows it down a lot. So you're gonna want a little extra torque to get it through all the grass stuff that you may get it caught in. So here I have a flipping jig. This one is black and blue, but I typically prefer the Okeechobee crop color. For us normal folks, that is green pumpkin and blue. I love the 3 8 ounce weight because it has a really smooth fall rate, especially when you have a giant crawl on the back. Now this guy is not your typical fall bait. This has nothing to do with the shad. This is really targeting those fish that don't really like to eat shad. They focus eating on bluegill, crappie, or maybe even, oh actually definitely crawfish. Not, not even maybe, even. they definitely eat crawfish. I typically start throwing a jig in mid to late fall when the grass really starts to die and those fish are having a hard time to find places to hang around. So I'll start flipping this guy in some hard structure, some trees, some brush piles, and that kind of thing. I fish this guy with a medium heavy rod, 15 to 20 pound test line, and the reel can be really up to you because we're doing a lot of flipping here, but I still prefer a seven to eight speed so you can get it in real fast. That's my typical flipping setup, so be sure you flip this guy into tree after tree after brush pile after brush pile and set that hook on anything that feels funny. The next tip I have for you guys is with the Whopper Plopper 90. Now I love this bait. This bait catches fish for me three seasons out of the year. Uh, this particular color is called I Know It. It has a little yellow stripe here and some blue on the top. But the fish really don't get to see that. I only bought this guy because it has the white bottom. So if you guys want to see me talk more in depth about this bait, I do have another video completely reviewing this bait. So make sure you check that out in the cards above. So you're going to want to fish this guy all fall. And when I mean all fall, I mean until they don't fight it anymore. Fish it near grass, fish it near rock, fish it near brush, fish it near trees. Fish it near those trees that you just finished flipping and you still may catch fish out of those trees. This guy just plain catches fish and you should definitely fish it all year long. And if you don't have one of these already, in the description below I have a link. Definitely check that link out. It'll help me out quite a bit. Thanks. I prefer to fish this guy on a medium power rod with a fast action tip. Also, I Fish this guy from 10 to 12 pound test line. These treble hooks, really sharp. You don't have any problems there. And the speed reel is, I prefer a seven to eight gear ratio reel. Uh, mainly, sometimes I like, just like to dial it in real fast. Um, and I usually have this guy on a dedicated rod throughout the year. So definitely give it a try. Here I have the old slab spoon. This particular one is a 3 8 ounce cotton cordell, uh, silver colored. This guy has caught me tons of fish. 
Maybe not this particular one, but this type of bait has got me tons and tons of fish. It gets to the bottom really, really fast. And when you start flicking it off the bottom, it definitely looks like a dying shad. And it really, really triggers those bass to bite. I fish this mostly in late fall all the way into the winter. I find deep points and ledges and where those bass like to hang around. And I usually can catch two or three sticking around a ledge or maybe some brush piles that are on those deeper points inside of those cuts. All I do is pretty much drop it right beside my boat and then flip it up and then let it come on down. And I, I wanna keep the line tight as it comes down. So many times they're gonna, they're gonna strike it as it's falling and you definitely wanna be feeling for that. So remember when you let it fall, keep the line tight. With this bait, you're more than likely going to catch more than just bass. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I like to use this guy on a spinning combo. Uh, the medium power, uh, maybe a moderate or moderate fast action tip. I use 20 pound yellow braid and then I tie a appropriate leader on. Typically, maybe 12 to 15 pound test. If the water's really clear, I may go to 10 or eight. All right, so this bait is gonna be very similar to the chatter bait. This is the swim jig. Right now, I have it paired up with a paddle tail swim bait. Uh, this is the particular one, is a three, ounce, three eighths ounce Grass Hero from Guggen Squad. Uh, definitely check that bait out if you haven't already. Really solid bait. Now, I like to throw this guy, just like the chatter bait, uh, into grass or near grass, mainly because sometimes the chatterbait here, he gets hung up. It just happens. And if you're throwing it deeper and thicker into the grass, uh, you may get a couple extra bites if you try to throw it with this guy versus uh, getting hung up and scaring those fish off. So if you're gonna throw deeper into the grass, definitely use a swim jig. It's definitely a lot more weedless and will come through the grass so much better. And it might get you an extra bite or two. So it's definitely worth giving it a shot if you're getting you know, lots of hangups. So just like the chatterbait, I fish this guy on a medium to medium heavy power rod, fast action tip, 12 to 15 pound test. If the grass is getting really thick, I'll bump it up to maybe 17 or 20 pound test. But that just depends on the case by case scenario. And once again, a six to seven gear ratio reel should do the job for you. Thank you guys for watching. What are some of your favorite fall fishing baits, let me know in the comments below. But like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.